It was a long, cold winter in northern Illinois, one of the worst in history, but that didn't stop us from working on the Stealth 64. More horsepower, lower EGTs, and you'd never know it was there until you need the extra power. It's Stealth. The Stealth 64 replaces the stock turbocharger, literally drops in place. No extra hardware, oil lines, pedestals, or tune adjustments. And it took about five hours to install on this 2003 LB7. Drivability of this turbocharger is just phenomenal. I mean, right now I'm rolling about 30 mile an hour and I'm running three, three pounds of boost. And I can easily just roll into the truck, not hardly getting on at all. You can just instantly hear the turbocharger light. It's running 15 PSI right now, running up to 60, 65 mile an hour right now, and it's just the drive boat of the charger is just amazing. And the Stealth 64 is really factory spool up with more power up top. So getting in Tim's truck when we put the test turbo on it, um, I didn't even notice that it was on there. So, I mean, that's a big deal. I've driven hundreds of these trucks. No lack of spool up with big power on the top end. It, it's awesome. It's really affordable and it's really nice to drive. Okay, so that black truck that you saw earlier in the video is the regular cab that we did our first install of Stealth 64 on. That's what we did our first testing on, our first tuning, and our first dyno runs. Spent a lot of time on the dyno with that truck, dialing in the tune, making sure our timing numbers and our fuel numbers were safe, and that we're still shooting for that 600, 600 plus number. We got another truck in the shop today, similar deal, stock CP3 pump, 30% over injector, Stealth 64 upgraded turbo. Owen's got it locked down in the dyno. We're gonna run it now, see what happens, see if we can back those numbers up. That's like right neck and neck with the last one we did, which is 609. That's awesome. That is awesome. Okay, so I have a dyno pass of the Stealth 64, which we just made on this pewter truck, compared to a typical 530 horsepower run graph. And you can see this truck peaks right at 529, which is, that's a run from a stock turbocharger LB7 with a boost increase valve and our max effort tuning that we rate at 530. You can see as RPM climbs, the difference between these two graphs increases and that bigger compressor wheel on the 64 really starts to move air efficiently at that, so those higher power levels, which is where we see that difference of, you know, 530 to 608, uh, it's about 80 horsepower, 78 horsepower. You're gonna feel that in the seat of the pants. I mean, that, that's a difference that you're gonna see on the track, you're gonna see on the street, and that you're gonna feel. It's a solid value and a good place for a stock long block LB7 to be. It's, we can run the tune very safely there, and the truck's a lot of fun to drive. <laughs> 